G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. Uh, this little mini series is going to be aimed towards a lot of new resellers that have started following us. Um, we've had a lot of questions on Instagram and YouTube about how we go about things and how we photograph, how we list. So we thought we'd put ourselves back in the shoes of a new reseller and we've actually opened ourselves a brand new eBay account. And what we're going to do is we're going to start that with a zero dollar investment and we're going to show you how you can do exactly the same thing. So the process for this is going to be we're going to go around our house, we're going to find items that we no longer need just gathering dust in the corner and we're going to list those items up on ebay and sell them for a profit once we get that profit we're going to reinvest that profit into new stock um, by going to op shops garage sales um, maybe even a few auctions and building some inventory once we start building that inventory and once we, once we start seeing more products selling um, we'll be able to turn that initial zero dollar investment into an income so this is a great way to start if you're new on ebay um, you don't have to fork out a bunch of money you can just look around your house find some items that you no longer use and sell them um, so this episode is going to be us taking some photographs uh, showing a, a little bit of a listing template um, so what i'll do is i'll jump over to jazzy now who's going to take some photos for you we'll run through that and then we'll go through the listing template we'll come back at the end and have a little bit of a chat so thanks for watching um, and we hope this little video helps you guys out so guys we've got a couple items here um, these are both pairs of shoes that are mine so i've had these for quite a while i used to be a bit of a shoe collector i suppose um, so these are just two pairs of Nikes, they're both 11 and a half, just so you guys know that they are actually mine. And we didn't get these from a op shop. It's not focusing. 11 and a half. These ones are yeah, 11 and a half as well. 11 and a half. So these are both, um, both two pairs of shoes that I no longer wear. Um, I just don't find um, use for them anymore, so they've just been sitting in the cupboard. There is some dirt and stuff on them. We gave them a quick clean, but because they're really old, I probably bought these about eight, nine years ago. Some of the colouring's gone on them, um, but I still think we'll be able to get some decent money on these. So um, I'm going to shoot for over 50 on that pair. And probably the same with these. These are in a bit better condition. Um, there's not too much sort of, you know, dirt marks on them. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll look at comps and, and we'll show you how we do that as well. I'm not really sure there'll be exact comps because these are our older styles, um, but we should be able to find something. So what I'll do is I'll get Jazzy to take some photos and I'll just show you how to get some really crisp photos on this background. So I'll flip over to her now. Okay guys, um, so what we've done is we've set up our um, listing station in the lounge room. Um, just because it's going to be easier to show you in here. Um, we usually list in our other room, which is just on the other side of that wall. Uh, and that room is full of stock. So what we're going to do to make sure that we keep it separate is we're going to show you in here how we take photographs and how we do listing. Um, so I'll show you our, our little setup here. Um, it is a little bit better setup in the other room, but um, so essentially we've got here, we've got two um, set of lights. Um, so we're just off of eBay um, when we first started. Um, I think they cost us about 50 to $60 per set. And then we've just got this little white background here. So all this is, is um, a sheet of core flu um, from, from, I think it was Bunnings and they're like $5. So we found that we've been able to play, take some pretty crisp photos with this. Um, so that's a nice cheap way to get into it. And um, we have bought a light box since, but we generally just list with this. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get Jazzy to take some photos. So you can see that Jasmine is using her iPhone 6S, so you can get some really good um, quality shots out of even the older iPhones. And what she's done is she set um, the picture to square rather than photo. And what that does, so that's photo, and if you do square, it'll change the dimensions of it. And that gives you a really quality photo for eBay because it likes those dimensions. Um, you can see without any sort of adjustment, that's already a really good photo. Um, but to make it even crisper, what you can do is you can push down on the screen and you'll get this little sun logo come up. And if you push down and then scroll up, 
it'll actually brighten the photo. So you can see that the white has changed and that just looks really nice. It hasn't changed any of the color of the shoes. It's just, it's got rid of those shadows out of the photo. So that's a really good way to get a quality photo. So Jasmine's just taken a photo there. That'll go straight onto eBay. That's that how is, it was. That's yeah, what so you can see the difference in the two there. Um, one's a lot crisper, the shadowing's gone. It's just a really good quality photo. Um, so we usually do right facing like they are now. Um, then we'll also do um, the soles of the shoes. Um, so do you want to set them up like to show how we'd do the soles? Do you want both at once? Yeah, we'll do both at once. Sometimes it's a bit of a trick getting them to balance together, but that's always worked yeah. out all right for us. Yeah, so we haven't cleaned these thoroughly um, because we don't we don't want to spend a heap of time on individual shoes. Um, so we'll photograph them like that. So Jasmine will just show you what that looks like as well. Um, so once again, she's got it in square. She's just adjusting um, the brightness on the shoe. She's taking that photo. Um, just bring that photo back here so we can have a look. Um, so you can see that the photo has come out nice and clear. The person's going to see, yeah, they have been worn a little bit, but they're still in good condition. There's no major sort of, you know, scuffs or damage to the shoe. There is a bit of dirt, but um, that's important. Buyers like to see the sole. Um, we usually take a photo of the um, size as well. Um, so usually that'll either be on the tongue or on the side of the shoe. So depending on, uh, that's the details, the size is actually on the inner side there. So we'll take a photo of that as well. They're always, fun They're always to um, a bit difficult to get to, but you should be able to get a decent photo. So that's the size 11 and a half US. And that'll also give them the style logo, which is important um, because we'll be able to look that up to find out exactly what style shoe this is. Um, I can't really remember because it was some time ago when I bought these for myself. So we also do a um, back shot. So you get behind them, you show if there's any scuffing on the heel, um, get a good quality photo there. Make sure you take any photos of any damage or any um, major dirt marks. So that one's in there it actually has a bit of um, a problem with the tongue. Um, so the Nike um, tag has just come loose from the tongue. Um, so we'll make sure we photograph that. Um, so just try and be as clear as possible and take photos of things that when you buy shoes that you look for. So you're looking for the toe to make sure there's no holes. You're looking at, at the sole to make sure that it still has good grip. Um, you, you're taking photos of the overall condition and you're also taking photos of the size. So that's um, that's probably the first tip that we'll give you on, in photographs. Um, obviously you can have a lot better setups than, than this. Um, you can spend a lot of money on on lighting and photographs, but, um, well sorry, lighting and cameras. Um, but if you do something simple like this or you have somewhere in your house that has decent light, um, you should be able to get some really good quality photos um, for pretty cheap. So that's a good little tip there. Okay guys, so this is our new account. Um, this, we've opened it up, called it the Nakia Collection. Um, as you can see, there's no actives, there's no solds, and there's no unsolds. I have drafted that pair of shoes um, so that I can add the photos in. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you exactly what I did so that um, you can follow along um, and do it yourself as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy um, this text that I put in this other one so that I can just dump it in and I don't have to um, redo everything so when you're listing item just go to list an item and it will pop up with a listing screen um, so it's going to ask you to include some information so what I'm going to do is I know that these um, style, of cool, style of shoes are called Nike Alpha Baller and the way I found that is I did a search um, on Nike Alpha Baller so what I might do is I might just show you where I searched it as well so I just went in here, I looked up the style code, um, which is in the shoe. So it's a Nike 487858- oh, I'm not going to put a dash in actually because it's unlikely to have the same style. So that's a similar style of shoe. So it's the same style, just a different colorway. Um, and you can see they've got it listed for 49.10 and pre-owned. Let's just see if there's any solds. 
and there is two. So there's one that sold for $50 and one that sold for $72.46. Both under bids and both in America. Um, however, I think we could probably get 50. So what I'll do is I'll jump back over to that selling page. So it's a Nike men's alpha baller basketball shoe. Um, include as much information as you can in your listing title because what it's going to do is it's going to pull that info into your um, item specific. So it's a US 11 and a half. It's going to ask for color as well. So I'm going to go gray green uh, and I'm just going to go fix that up and I'm going to go go. So it's not going to pick up any similar items and I didn't expect it to. Sometimes it will come up with similar items there, but because these are an older style shoe, I didn't expect it to. So I'm just going to create a new listing. I'm going to go pre-owned um, because they're used. And it's going to come up with a listing template. So it's going to say you should include these types of photos, the main photo, top, bottom, front, back, right side, left side, detail, and any flaws. Um, we add our photos from a mobile. So what I'll do at the end of this is I'll save this as a draft and then we'll jump over to mobile and fix it up. So I'm just going to add the um, style color in here, which is 011. Um, so what I'll do is I'll also include the style code in the listing. So it's 487858-011. Uh, and that's just going to tell people that that's the style code. So if they want to look it up, they can as well. Uh, model, I'm just going to write, uh, I'll have to actually write this because it won't let me select one because it won't be there. So I'm just going to write uh, alpha baller. Add your own. And we'll just see if there's any other options that we should be fixing. So closure is lace up. Um, hook and loop is Velcro. Um, Velcro is a varied word. So never use Velcro in any of your titles because your item will get taken down and you may get banned or blocked for a few days. So if you want Velcro, just use hook and loop. Uh, I don't know the year, the features is standard. The width is standard. Um, the product line, I'm not really sure because it's a different thing. It is a mid, so I will include that in the title as well. Nike men's alpha baller mid basketball shoe. Um, and that way it's, you know, as much information as I can get in there without going over the top. Nike men's alpha baller mid basketball shoe, US size 11 and a half, gray green, and that's the style code. Perfect. So I'm going to go to description now. Um, now it's probably best that you guys have a template set up so whether you save that in word um, or a notebook or something or if you're using your phone just in notes um, the way we like to do it is we like to just have a little intro welcome to our ab store item this is the item saying nike, nike alpha baller men's basketball shoe size us 11 and a half gray green condition is pre-owned some dirt marks and scuffs from use sole is in good condition Shipping, we will post within two business days unless otherwise notified. And the reason we put that in there is if we go away on holidays, we change our shipping to um, match how many days we're going to be away. Um, so when we go away, we change it and we notify buyers at the time of purchase saying, hey, um, please note that shipping time is X. Um, we will post as soon as we return. So usually that's fine and they're happy with that and the sale will continue. And payment, payment to be made by PayPal. Some people include their return details in here. Some people like to put a lot more information, but eBay have said that item specifics is the real killer now. So add as much as you can in here because not many people look at description anymore. Apparently that, that's from eBay directly. So yeah, just add what you can. Um, you can add more or less, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm gonna change the pricing because eBay will recommend you a price that's probably not very accurate to what you've got so it's going to be buy it now we're not going to do option auction i will do fifty dollars and we are going to charge postage on our main account we don't charge postage so we offer free postage um however as this is a new account and we kind of want to show you what is best for new resellers um set up postage um get them to pay for it then you're not cutting into your profit you know exactly what you're going to get out of the item so it'll probably recommend for you what It'll cost, so this is going to be a three kilo um, satchel and it's going to cost me $14.55. So you may have other options, which would be 500, which would be for like um, clothing items, smaller clothing items, and that'll be about $8.55 um, or $7.55 if you use eBay. So um, just if you don't know how much it's going to weigh, weigh the item first um, and then choose what 
is best for that item. Um, so we will accept returns on this because I know that that helps sales. So I'm going to go accept returns, but I'm going to make the buyer pay return postage because I don't want to have to hold money in an account and then use it for returns. So we're going to use Jasmine's PayPal on this one. And then we're just going to save and exit. So what that's going to do is it's going to save a draft and I can access that draft from the eBay app on my phone. And then I'm just going to add the photos in. So what we'll do is we'll add those in and then we'll come back and show you what that looks like um, before we list our first item. Okay guys, so we've added in the photos to the, um, the draft. So we've got a nice side photo, um, top photo, another side, back, um, the soles, um, the size and the style code, a bit of the inside, um, the, error, the issue with the little tag on the top, and just a um, close up of the lacing. Uh, we've obviously got all that stuff in there from before. Um, we've set up our PayPal, so we're pretty much ready to list. So we can just go list it on that one. Um, I'm not going to promote any of these listings at this point. Um, I don't think it's warranted on a new store. Um, we promote listings on our main store, but um, just to keep it nice and simple so you guys know exactly uh, what we're pulling out. I'm going to go no thanks on the promoter listing. And it says success, your listing is now live. Sell more to make more. So it's saying that that listing is live. So let's jump back over to our seller. Home. Like this, so so it's now saying we have one active, um, and that's cut into our free selling trial. Um, so if you wanted to view the item, you would just click on active, <coughs> and that's the item that we've got for sale. So fifty offer, fifty dollars um, plus postage. Um, Jasmine took some really nice photos of that <laughs> and there's the glitch it said we've got 11 views already um, when we've just listed it so um, don't pay any attention to that that's ridiculous um, there's a bit of a glitch going around at the moment so don't worry about that at this stage um, just get your listings up price them fairly um, and you should get some sales so um, that's how we list and photograph um, obviously we're gonna do some more listings and get some more items up uh, we'll probably aim for about 10 to start with and then we'll start building from there. Um, as I said, we are going to do um, all stuff from around the house that we're no longer using. So we're not investing any money into this one. We're starting from zero and we want to show you guys where we can build it too. So um, yeah, we'll um, log off of the screen share now. Okay guys, um, I hope uh, that's helped you out. So. Um, we went through that one listing there. Um, we'll duplicate that a few times and get those other few pairs of shoes up. Um, so we've probably got about five or six items that we found so far from around the house that we're no longer using. So we'll probably get those items up, um, see how we go. We don't expect them to fly out the door. Um, when you're first starting eBay, it is a slower process because you do have to wait for PayPal to release your funds, which may take some time. Um, you can ring them and say, hey, I've got good feedback on that item. It's obviously being received. Can you please release the funds? Um, but generally there's a hold period. So we don't expect this to start today and take off tomorrow. Um, but it's going to show you guys um, the process from literally nothing um, to building a store that can make you an income. So we really hope that this is going to help some people out. Um, make sure you tune in for the next video. Um, we're probably going to probably going to come back once we've listed a few items, um, give you a bit of an update um, and we'll give you like a running total as we go. So when we sell I we'll say we sold 50 bucks, we've got $50 to um, reinvest, obviously minus fees and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching today. Uh, make sure you subscribe um, and like our channel. Uh, we will be posting more videos like this one. Um, try and keep it a bit of a series, keep it all together. Um, so definitely subscribe, um, leave some comments for us to let us know what you'd like to see in the series um, because at the end of the day um, it's, it's for you guys and we, we just want to provide as much information as we can. So leave us a comment um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to help um, you on your reselling journey as well. So thanks for watching, um, we really appreciate all the support we've been getting and we hope to see you again soon. Bye!